Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more. Let's play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time we started Waterland, and now we're riding on a whale's blowhole. Isn't life just great? But anyway, uh, we're going to continue on with the next level, all the way down here. Deep Dive Deep. This level, from my understanding, is not very long, which is actually a good thing, because the first secret level of this world is really long. The boss itself is also kind of long and kind of tricky too, but I don't think we'll have that much of an issue with the boss that much. But yeah, here we have another water level, and I believe we'll also get in control of the uh, dolphin Kirby again too, so we have that to look forward to. There's a lot of beads in this level. A lot of them are at the tails of these eel enemies, so proceed with caution when you're dealing with them. You also have lava flumes for whatever reason. Not sure how lava flumes work underwater, but it's video game logic. Video game logic! You should never question video game logic. Okay, so our first treasure is over there, if I don't lose my beads first. How exactly do we get up there, though? I think we just go around here. Oh, right, we have these things. Uh, watch out for these guys, they'll try to suck you in, and right here you also have to avoid the Gordos, too. After a while, though, they'll uh, run out of breath. If he'll ever run out of breath. Do I have to throw something at him, or do I just have to wait? Okay, now we just have to wait. But anyway, go behind him, and you'll find the Dangler Light. That's kind of a creative name right there. Then we'll just keep on going, and then right here, be very careful, because you see this giant angler over here? Yes, we have a bit of a chase scene right here. You have to be very, very quick while you're doing this. So much that you might want to avoid some of the beads that you can get through this section because it'll not really be that worth it because you'll lose beads if you get hit by the guy. And uh, if you lose beads, then you'll get hit by the guy and you'll lose more and it's just, yeah. So don't try to worry about getting the beads if uh, they're too out of the way. I think I might try to grab that star bead though. And then right here, we have our good friend, Dolphin Kirby, again. This part's actually pretty cool, because you actually get to navigate these tight little passages with the dolphin. A lot of beads in this area, so you can grab them as well. Uh, I don't think you can kill the eels with uh, Dolphin Kirby, though, so be very careful. Can also find a bonus star down here. I think I missed the first one though. Knowing my luck, it was probably in like the first area. Oh, shoot. Okay, quickly grab those. Okay, there's the second treasure, the mast. Keep a close eye out for that one because you can miss that one very easily. Also, star bead right there. No, no, don't go over there. Well, you can also get some more beads here, too, so... Maybe that wasn't a completely bad move. But I want to go back over here so I can get that star bead. God, I hate these... I hate those eels sometimes. Okay, let's try this again. I'm not really doing this that well. Okay, there we go. Not quite at a silver medal yet, but we'll get there momentarily. There we go. Oh, and there's the CD right there. 
So let's go ahead and grab that, and then we'll be done with the treasures in this level. Got the Deep Dive Deep CD. And I believe we have another, yep, we have another angler section right here, but this one's pretty quick and easy. Watch out for the Gordos, though, because the Gordos can definitely mess you up if you're not controlling the dolphin very well. Also, make sure you grab that. Oh god, and we also have an upward section, too. This reminds me of the uh, third boss in uh, Kirby 64. Because he had to fight, uh, I think it was Acro in that same fashion. But there we go, level completed. Uh, didn't get all the bonus stars, but we did get the gold medal, so that's not going to be a problem if we miss this or screw this up completely. And next we have the boss. So, let's get ready for that. Okay, we found the octopus nook. I honestly would have called it a pot, but the game is going with octopus nook. And the boss of World 4 is... Kapamari. Kind of a creative name, I guess. So let's go up here and actually find him. Now this boss fight actually takes a while because you can't actually damage him at first. You have to kind of go a roundabout way of actually getting able to hurt him. As you can see, that little part of him we have to grab is under the giant wool cap. And what you have to do to get that is first, um, well, one thing you can do very quickly is you can grab his tentacles and throw them at him. And you can get beads that way. This won't actually do any damage to him, though. This is just how you normally would get the uh, gold medal ranking, by just doing this first. Okay, then once he uh, stops dropping beads at this point, now we actually have to find a way to damage him. Watch out for his tentacles, because his tentacles will grab you and throw you and do damage to you. And you have to basically grab this thing right here and basically unwind him so the cap actually falls off. You'll have to, like, do this whole thing, like, twice, though. Just watch out for the tentacles, though. Those tentacles will mess you up, and you'll lose beads if you get hit by them, too. That wasn't obvious. Dang it, get out of my way. You can also throw the tentacles at other tentacles and get rid of them faster, but... He's always gonna have one on screen, so... It honestly probably wouldn't even be worth using it on him. But anyway, right here, that is when you can start to grab him. But first, though, he has a few other attacks of his own. First, he'll uh, make the screen dark, and he'll throw tentacles at you. Watch for his eyes, and then throw the uh, tentacle at him whenever you get the chance. And grab all the beads. Uh, during this part, he'll drop a lot of star beads, so make sure you grab them while you're doing this. Just enough so you can actually get the uh, uh, patch you need to unlock the secret levels. Then wait for him to appear again. And throw him against the wall, and oh wow, he only took two hits. Okay, well, that works. 
And hooray, we found the magic yarn. So let's cue the cutscene and sit back and watch it. And laugh hysterically at the narrator. We did it! We got the magic yarn! The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Back in Dreamland, it was total chaos over at Castle DDD. What is going on here? It appeared that Yin Yarn's Waddle Dee imposters had captured all of the real Waddle Dees. You can't be mean to my Waddle Dees. Only I can be mean to my Waddle Dees. That was when Yin Yarn's troops decided to show King DDD who was boss. Hey, that tickles. Okay, that hurts. Yeah, uncle. And in no time, they had King DDD wrapped up like a birthday present. <laughs> Only one more step and Dreamland will be mine. What an honor to have a king serving me. Yin Yarn's sock began to glow. And sucked King DDD right inside. <laughs> Dreamland will be mine. Not sure what I'll do with it, but I'll figure something out. Could no one stop Yin Yarn from tearing apart the very fabric of Dreamland? Well, that sucked. <laughs> so apparently our rival has been kidnapped and probably turned into yarn as well. And with that, we unlock the next world, which is Snowland. I know, very appropriate name for a snow world. And we have this uh, next patch, let's go ahead and use it. And with this we unlock probably one of the most annoying levels in the entire game. Of all the levels in the game, this is probably one of my least favorite levels. It's cool, but it's also ridiculously challenging too, especially to get the gold medal rank. But next we have Boom Boatyard, and considering we have about 8 minutes left, I can probably go ahead and do this level. The reason why this level sucks is, first of all, it's an auto-scrolling level, so... We have to actually keep up with the screen. And this is also the first extra level that doesn't have a transformation. Oh wait, no, that's actually untrue. There's the... I forgot about the Haunted level. The Haunted level also didn't have a transformation. But this level is difficult, that's for sure. Like I said, it's auto-scrolling and just very annoying in general. It's especially annoying to get the gold medal just because of... Just like, well, because of how difficult it is. There's a lot of beads and you don't have a lot of uh, room to actually get them all. You have to be pretty quick and you also just have to know where a lot of the beads are, in all honesty, so... Oh, dang it! Well, that sucks. Thankfully, I was able to grab that, but I missed the bonus star, unfortunately. That might have been a bonus star, anyway. Okay, so there's the uh, first treasure chest. Let's go ahead and grab this very quickly. Get the treasure chest. Like, already, we, we only have the first treasure chest, and, uh, we're not even at a bronze medal yet. That's what makes this kind of tricky to do. Oh, actually, that's the first bonus star. Or maybe that was the second one. I don't remember. Anyway, the, uh, s the last two treasures of this level, you actually get them in a very similar way. And basically, just pay attention to when you get to a certain part. Right here, we actually have a huge pirate ship. 
And the first treasure, or the second treasure, is actually at the top of this pirate ship. Just make sure you climb all the way to the top, pull down this flag, to get the Treatland CD. Okay, that's kind of weird. I guess this level does share its uh, musical theme with another level, that's why it doesn't have a CD. But yeah, as you can tell, we're still not at a uh, bronze medal yet. Oh shoot, dang it. I feel like I just missed a lot of beats by doing that. Actually, no I didn't. I can still get a lot of these anyway. Not Maybe not all of them. But definitely a nice majority of them though. So I'm going to grab this very quickly. So keep your eyes peeled for the uh, next pirate ship. Which I believe is going to be right here in a second. Oh god. That was close. Okay, so here's the second pirate ship. Once again, be very, very quick about this. You do not have a lot of time. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we can still do this. Okay, grab this flag. Grab the pirate ship. So be kind of quick about this, too. I think the last bonus star was down there, though. So I'm going to have to rely on the bonus wheel to actually do this properly. Now, as you can tell, I don't even have a silver medal yet. That is because we have a mini-boss right here. And this mini-boss actually has a lot of beads. So he's actually where we're going to get the remaining beads that we don't have yet. Fortunately, though, I lost some of my beads in that attack that hurt me. Shoot. Oh, grab them. Grab them. No! Dang it! Shoot. Okay, I might have to do this level again, unfortunately. Unless I get very, very lucky. Okay, maybe you can't grab that one. I thought you could, though. Maybe not, though. Anyway, destroy him, grab all the beads, and yeah, we didn't even get a silver medal. I can probably get a silver medal right here, but... Okay, no, I'm not even going to get a silver medal. I screwed that up majorly. Okay, well, I'm going to have to redo this level, so... Hang on, and I'll see you guys at the end of it. I did get all the treasures, though, so that's going to make things a lot easier. submarine. Yellow submarine. Uh, sorry, I had to make that reference. <laughs> but yeah, we also unlocked Fossil Reef. But anyway, uh, be right back, guys. Okay, there we go. I did a lot better on that one. I actually found all the bonus stars, and yeah, just overall, that was a much better attempt. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that. But yeah, there we go. Boom, Boatyard is completed. Never will I have to play that level ever again, because I don't think that there is any of the uh, minigame levels that take place there. And yeah, that'll about do it for this episode, too. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'll see you guys next time when we tackle the other level of this world, and then we'll also play some minigames, too. So, I uh, can't wait to see you guys for that. See you guys next time. Later, folks.